This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and if you follow Covert Instruments on social media or get our emails, you know that last week we released the new Echelon pick set over on CovertInstruments.com. I want to take you through it and at the same time explain why we chose each item. I should start by saying this isn't like some pick sets out there where they pad the number of ticks to increase the price. I've seen sets where you can literally throw out half the picks without losing any capabilities. That's not the case here. Every pick in this case either expands the universal locks that you can open or expands the picking techniques that you can bring to bear. Second, while this is a standalone set, it was put together as an intermediate level offering with specifically the current owner of a Genesis set in mind, someone who's ready to up their game. As I've said before, the Genesis profiles and turning tools are pretty foundational. So the question arose, do we include them and make you buy the same picks a second time or just leave space in the case for those Genesis items? And that of course is what we did. That brings us to the case. It's an expanded version of the Magnetic Closure Tradecraft case, the same high quality, same quiet magnetic closure, and same top-notch tool retention, just more room inside. As for the picks, we'll start with these four in the middle. They are, of course, identical to the Genesis profiles, just 20 thousandths of an inch instead of 25. You can see we put 20 right there on the handle. What that means is that these will fit into more keyways and open more locks. Importantly, because these are the same profiles as Genesis, the learning curve is really low. You're already used to the shapes, you've invested the time to learn how they work and how to maneuver them into keyway. Now, the 20 thou thickness also means that less experienced pickers will need to be more careful. A thinner pick is a weaker pick. That said, everything here is made of 301 high yield stainless steel, which is one of the best pick making steels available. So even in 20 thou, they are stronger than many thicker picks out there. Moving on, we have this pick, which we call the gentle reach. It can be squeezed into a lot of places. A short hook just won't go. Then we have a double peak rake. This is great for raking locks with more extreme bidding where the quad or the quint just won't reach. Next we have what I think is the best dimple lock rake ever made. And that's not just hyperbole. Between the design, the strength, and little details, it's really quite good. Then we have four double-ended top of the keyway turning tools. They're in 50, 40, 32, and 25 thousandths of an inch thick. Then we have three modified ergo turners, great for padlocks, and these are in 50, 40, and 32 thousandths of an inch. Finally, we have these two tools, which are for single pin picking tubular locks. There's a lot to unpack on how to use these, so I'm going to dedicate an entire video to these sometime soon. Okay, the last thing we need to do is combine these two sets into one case, and I think the best way to do that is to show you what I did. So we can open this up. Inside is the Echelon, the Genesis, then I added three comb picks, two notch decoders, and a credit card latch slipper. All told, an incredible number of capabilities in a very small package. One note, once you have everything packed inside, my recommendation is to slip the tips of these ergo turners in between two picks. It'll help things close up a little bit tighter. So, as always, everything you see here is available over on covertinstruments.com, but that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.